Hello, 8th grade, and welcome to this week's Weekly Breakdown. So in the past weeks, we've been talking about the theory of evolution. We got introduced to the scientist that sparked the idea, and we talked about Charles Darwin, which is the father of the theory of evolution. And we also discussed some factors that... Uh, help us understand the, nat- the theory of evolution, such as natural selection, artificial selection, how environmental change can cause some organisms to not survive. For this week, we're going to talk mostly about genetic variation. So part of the genetic variation is found in the DNA. And the DNA can have many mutations. And these types of mutations can cause the evolution of an individual. We said genetic variation can be measured as a gene variability or nucleotide variability. This is what a variation with a population can mean. So, most species exhibit geographic variation differences between gene pools of separate population. So, some of the, spe- of some of the species can have mutations through genes that cause this population to drift, not due to natural selection, but due to something else that we're going to get introduced to. So, we're going to talk about the genetic variation in in alleles, specifically mutations. Only mutations in cells that produce gametes can be passed to offspring. So, the mutations can result in an organism's evolution. A point mutation is a change in one base in a gene that affects point mutations can vary. Mutations in non-coding regions of DNA are often harmless, but mutations in genes can be neutral because of redundancy in the genetic code. Mutations that result in a change in the protein production, specifically in the protein, is what harmful. Mutations that result in change in protein production can sometimes also be beneficial. So, the mutations that alter a gene number specifically in the protein can be very harmful. We are going to talk about them specifically in something that is called the genetic drift or the gene flow. Okay, so the evolution of an organism can be done as a genetic drift, they drift, or they flow. Not everything can uh, be brought into consideration by natural selection. Some of them have, some species have genetic drift and genetic flow. And other species have something called coevolution, where there is a male competition and female choice. So this lesson is going to give us the process evolution through mutations, genetic drift, genetic flow. We're going to understand more how specific species are evolved. This is it for this week, grade 8. Thank you so much. If you need anything, you know where to find me.